Greetings everyone. In this video, we are responding to the questions that uh, you posted on uh, YouTube. Comrade Rejoice writes, uh, asking about how he, he applies without uh, a waiver. You simply go to the website and I hope you are outside the ZEP category because for ZEP you need a waiver if you are applying for a general work visa. But if you are not on ZEP, you have to apply from Zimbabwe <coughs> because you will not qualify here in South Africa. Comrade Norman Nube writes, Baba Mapena, how are you applying in 2022 for a waiver but still is not out? We said wait for the outcome of your waiver. The minister said he's dealing with a backlog. So you need to be patient and wait for a waiver. And we said if you have a receipt, proof that you applied for a waiver, you don't have to panic and you don't have to apply for a second waiver when there's a pending application. Uh, Comrade Nomatemba Dube says uh, they are not getting dates for ZEP extension. Like I said in the previous video, that the people want to do things in the last minute. So when everyone then applies in November <coughs> ahead of the deadline, naturally uh, you will not get dates. So you just have to be patient. This is why we've been saying all along that you have to submit your application uh, while there is still time. Thanks, Comrade my, my Marco. Uh, Comrade Titans says the court ruling is above the minister. As, as we have said, Comrade Titans, that uh, we are not holding a gun <clears throat> on one's head to apply for, a, for to move to other visas. A person makes a, a decision whether they want to apply or not. Ours is simple to inform you of what is happening. So if you decide not to apply, it's a democratic right. Exercise that right and do not apply. Um, <coughs> uh, Comrade uh, Sehlapi uh, says the issue of money is a problem, is 3,000 range. But surely if you are working, unless if you are not working, and uh, these permits are for people that are working. So if you are working, I don't think you can say you do not have 3,000 rands for the whole year to apply for a permit. From January, you knew that you needed to apply for a permit. And then you can't say towards the deadline and say you don't have the 3,000 rands. Surely if you are working, you cannot do such. Um, Comrade Mentor says, <coughs> Hello, Mr. Mapena. What about those who applied for related visas? You have never said anything about it. I only talk about it when questions are asked. So if you ask me a question, I respond. As, as you have said, but your question still is vague. You, are, you simply want me to talk about relative visa, but there are quite a number of relative visas. There's the spouse visa and the other visa, so you are not being specific, so I can't address if your question is not specific. But what I've said, and which the minister said, which is there in the statement, is that your, your receipt acts as an extension. So if you have a receipt that you applied for any of the relative visa, you just have to uh, be patient. <coughs> Comrade Nathaniel Nube says, how are you, Mr. Mapena? Okulumekriniso, koto kate sapiwa iskati. We, we understand uh, Comrade Nathaniel Nube, but, but the truth of the matter is that uh, ZEP holders know that they have to move to other visas. Yes, there have been court cases. Uh, those that uh, <coughs> are following the court case, uh, they are arguing that uh, they want to remain within the ZEP category, meaning they want to apply for Zimbabwe exemption, which again, by the way, was announced the last year. So if, say, you do not want to follow, uh, you want to follow the court judgment and apply for a Zimbabwe exemption, which expires next year in November 2025, by this time again, you should have submitted your application because you are clear on what you want to apply for. And <clears throat> Comrade Peggy Temba says, Numzana Nabuto Mapena, if you and your people are not learning from our common neighbor Mozambique, you will be raising a nation of perpetual nomads up to the 10th generation. 
uthumela inhlanyelo abanye badlimi bese wena ufika ngokudla nje you may have been making a light comment but you just summed up why Zimbabwe is messed up you people are expecting a miraculous liberation without sweat and blood impossible you are not being honest the comrade beg it him you are not very being honest firstly we fought in the struggle against the white colonial regime <coughs> uh, uh, our brothers sisters our fathers our mothers participated in the armed struggle so what what you are saying you are not being honest you also know about the kukurawund the genocide that happened between 1983 to 1987 against defenseless people so what what you are saying you are just trying to grab headlines for something that you know that is not true you also know in the in the early days of the movement for democratic change the role that that we played some of us we went to campaign we lost the comrades in the early in the early days of the mdc we lost the comrades who died in the hands of zan pf some of us were locked up in zimbabwe for being members of the mdc some of us were being beaten up for being members of the mdc so you cannot be you are not being honest you are simply trying to <laughs> uh, 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 try trying to make uh, uh, um, headlines on something that you know that is irrelevant you know about the food riots of in, uh, November 1997 you know about the food riots of early 1998 so to, to, to write and assume that Zimbabweans have never done anything is quite misleading and I always uh, follow people like yourself who when something is happening uh, in Kenya you then you are quick to say draw a lesson from Kenya when something is happening in Mozambique you say draw a lesson from what is happening in Mozambique you know what happened when Morgan Tsangrai won 73% of the vote in 2008 and he ended up going to uh, running away to Botswana. And you know how the people were killed in 2008 in the build up <coughs> to the June, which was a one man show, Mugabe running alone. So you cannot then come around and say Zimbabweans are lazy, Zimbabweans have never participated in the struggle for liberation. We have played a critical role. We are up against the military in Zimbabwe. We have always been organizing. And if you are a Zimbabwean, if indeed you are a Zimbabwean, you will know about all these struggles that, that we have gone through. How many MTC comrades have died since 2000 in the hands of ZANU PF? How many? How many workers have died in the hands of ZANU PF? How many workers died in 2000, in 2019 when Nangako was president during the demonstrations in Arare Bulawai? So you cannot, you cannot be saying this. You need to be very honest. We continue. We continue to strike in Zimbabwe. We have lost the comrades. We have comrades that have been tortured. And you know that most of the people that were tortured, they ended up coming and stayed uh, a Methodist church, a small street in Johannesburg. So, so you, you are not being honest. You are not being honest. And, and then Comrade <coughs> Tembingwanya says, I'm holding a waiver receipt and I've uh, received a message that my waiver is out. So I went to VFS, they told me apply for general work visa. Look, I, I, I just heard some comrades saying this, but it was not communicated uh, officially to us. But if this is what uh, VFS officials say to you, uh, I guess we have to do what they said, but uh, do not come around and say, we say this is what we communicated to you. Because uh, I know that other people went to Northwest VFS uh, and they were turned back until again we were to intervene. And they are also aware of how Secular 7 of 2024 caused the confusion between VFS and the Department of Home Affairs. Because VFS was saying people should apply without waivers. But Home Affairs said no, everyone needs a waiver. So if the VFS staff are then saying the same thing, which was disputed by the officials in the Department of Home Affairs, there's nothing much we can say. But if they said that to you, you can go ahead, but 
were not this was not communicated to us and we can't say to you go and apply without a waiver what we're told is that a ZTP world applying for a general work visa must wait for the outcome of the waiver then apply if there are changes they should be putting out a statement to that effect um, <clears throat> then com thanks comrade Dafatwa. Uh, uh, the link for that Mo comrade Moses is told it's just a cookie just a cookie a and I was addressing the, this question because the if you ask for a link of ZEP extension, you go to the VFS website, www.vfs.com. Just go to and then you get the link to apply. And the link is also available in our various 30, 30 uh, chat groups, WhatsApp chat groups. The problem is we add the people in chat groups, they exit. So the link is there. Please do get to our chat groups and then uh, apply comrade we have there is a video about when zep is, uh, is expiring and i hope you will have uh, watched this video thanks so much for your questions we will continue uh, to find time and respond to the questions that you are sending to us otherwise please like this video subscribe to this youtube channel if you are on tiktok please do follow us otherwise goodbye